the last four minutes kind of works out good. On Wednesday, we've got to get into the analog to digital converter. Okay, the ADC is what that stands for. And here, ADC. This is a little different. It's another kind of input into our processor, but it's not just a one or a zero, zero or a one, right? Low, ground, high, 3.3 volts. So far, that's all we've been able to bring in with our digital inputs, our GPIOs. They can set, if the voltage is sitting at one volt coming into a digital I.O. pin, that's actually kind of in a no, no man's land for a digital input. The, the processor really doesn't even know if that's high or low at one volt. It's got to be for what's called a transistor to transistor logic signal, a high, so a one on a digital input is something greater than around 2.5 to 2.7 volts. A low is something less than 0.5 volts usually is what's called a TTL signal. So if you're in between there, the I.O. pin doesn't really know what to do. With an ADC, that's not true. With an ADC pin and its peripheral, we got to talk about how does it sample that and all that kind of stuff. So there's a pin here. One of them's labeled ADC in A0, for example, is the name of it. And there's a B0, a C0. There's all sorts of pins. We'll get into that. But this, what's coming in on this pin can be in a vol any voltage between 0 and 3.3 .3 volts. So it could be sitting at 1.2 volts, for example. Okay? And a, and a sensor, maybe that sensor is telling you how far the robot is away from the right wall. Or maybe the sensor is telling you how bright the light intensity is in the room. Or what, maybe it's an intensity of a blue color. Who knows? All sorts of different sensors out there. And those sensors can give you an analog voltage that you want to read in. You want to know it, that this is sitting at 1.2 volts and not 1.3 volts, for example. You want to be able to convert that value. That's why it's called an ADC analog to digital converter. It's taking that analog signal and creating a actually in our case, a 12-bit number. So our ADC is 12 bits. And what happens is this ADC converter that I'm going to kind of give you a hand-waving explanation of a little bit on Wednesday, it takes a, a voltage in and converts it to a number, number, between 0 and 4,095. 4,095 is 2 to the 12th minus 1, isn't it? And this scales. It's all linear. Very nice. And it scales such that a number between 0 and 4,095 scales to a voltage on this, C on this processor between 0 volts and 3.0 volts. So 1.2 volts, for example, 0.2 volts would be the number, what? 4,095 divided by 3.0. So it'd be that integer, whatever that is, somewhere in the mid there, 1,000 something, 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 would be that converted value that gives you, of course, not every voltage in between there, but gives you 4,096 different voltages in that range. Agreed? Okay, good. Let's talk about that Wednesday.